problem. Ah. Uh, let's go. Dang it, I thought, uh, I'm so confused. Okay. Should we be worried about your younger self and end of Strickland? That is a peculiar wrinkle in the space-time continuum, but I'm sure nothing will come of it. I can't possibly imagine myself becoming attached to a woman like that. Uh... Doc, Parker's in worse shape than we thought. We've screwed up his life so bad he's been dumped by Jennifer's future grandmother. Wait, what? I know. Marty, it's more important than ever that you get Officer Parker back on his destined path. If Jennifer never exists, then I'll never take you to 2015 to save your kids. Then old Biff will never... Paradox is... Uh, uh, I think you just broke the space-time continuum because that's exactly why I'm doing this series in the first place. Because it's Back to the Future Month, October 2015. Did I just blow your mind because I'm gonna... In like three days, it's gonna be Back to the Future Day from when I'm recording this at least. Okay. Okay. I better. I am confused. <sighs> so where the heck is Arthur? Is he where I think he is, or I don't know where anyone is anymore. I'm gonna have to walk, sorry guys, it's just way too hard to press shift. Welcome back, sir. Thank you. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on a kid? Oh my gosh, Marty! Uh, give me a minute. Ah. Uh, Oh, uh, so I. Where the heck is the other dock? I thought Arthur would be in that apartment, but he isn't. One second, guys, I'm adjusting the camera a bit. There we go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Great. Cabbage crates. Must be for the soup. Must be for the soup. Mmm. Mmm. But da 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 So I need to talk to Edna now. Edna? What? I've got a story for you. Yeah, this isn't going to work again, but I'm still going to do it. Officer Parker reformed. He has? Really? Uh, soon. Just you wait. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Do you think I could have a copy of your You Should Care lyrics? I've, uh, got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure. Okay. There you are. Hey, thanks. Okay. Keep fighting the good fight. Now I think I've solved it. Just to ignore something else for a while. I'm gonna ignore the other storyline, the main focus, for a minute. Just so that I could get one of them to care. Welcome back, sir. Looks like Parker's still parked. Ah, <laughs> Peter Parker. He likes to park his... Danny. Parker. Yeah. <gasps> Trust me, things will get better. Just keep listening to the music. Why? Hang in there, Dan. Oh, God. Boom. These lyrics should be sung by a professional. Okay, fine. Uh. Uh, Trixie? Yeah?
Okay, one second. There's a leg out there. Thanks. First, I'm gonna give you the lyrics. Hey, Trixie, look over there! Why? Didn't you see it? No. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> uh, Trixie? Yeah? I found Arthur. He's staying at the Majestic Arms. That flea bag? He's too classy for that. Yeah, well, anyway. You want to pop over there right now and talk to him about this evidence you got. I can't take more than a five-minute break. And get him to come here. Okay, fine. I'm not sure he'd find this place inviting. Then I guess he might say we're stuck at an impasse. Okay. Break a leg so that is where he's at. Okay. So now I take I have to go back. This episode's gonna take more time than it should, won't it? I can already tell. I thought this episode was gonna be short. Come on, keep going. You can jaywalk. Hey Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? Send Ari to Trixie. Is Ari still here? He's in the bathroom. Yay! Hey, Ari, open up. You've got a gangster to bring down. Is it time for me to meet this Sylvia? Yes. It's time for you to meet Trixie. Trixie says she's got something that might be able to send Kid up the river, but that you're the only one she trusts to check it out. Me? What is she? Oh, I know what she's done. Clever. Care to let us in uh. on the secret? Sorry, guys, but if Trixie's keeping it a secret... I'll have to play the trick, so the secret I. song. Oh, well, it's good, Mr. McFly, but if you and Trixie are going to collaborate on this evidence, we'll need to arrange a rendezvous. Well, Trixie's chained to kids speakeasy. So we'll have to bring Arthur to Trixie. Uh-uh. No way am I getting anywhere near that place again. I don't know how you talked me into this. <laughs> Just stay back here in the shadows and don't come out until you see Trixie. You're sure now you're I can do this. Okay. We'd never make you take any unnecessary. <gasps> Sagan. Sagan. Where's the kitty cat? Don't worry. Welcome back, sir. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. What's it gonna take to get Trixie? To oh my gosh! Okay, just go, go. Yeah. Guess who's waiting in the alley to talk? Ben. I mean, Link One One. Spoilers oh, is. It wasn't easy to track him down. Track him down. Me, Spoilers is. I think I'm towards the end of the episode. Ooh. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> And then, uh, facial expressions. Yeah. Uh -huh. I saw you make an eyes at my unit. Sorry, pal. I don't have time for a fight. Why, you? <laughs> I'll never get to Carnegie Hall at this rate. Badum bing. Right, fella. I think you're done for the night. Well, again. Where do you think you're going? Me? Yeah, you. What do you know about this? Enough. Everything. Ah. Trixie? Break silver cue ball. Whatever you say, babe. What was that? I'm confused. Trixie? Yeah? What's happened? What happened in the alley with Arthur? I don't want to talk about it. Did you shoot Arthur? 
What about your insurance policy? There ain't no insurance policy. After tonight, I'm tossing it in the furnace and burning it up. Please don't tell me he died. Come on, Trixie. Can't you tell me what happened out there? No. Then at least give me the evidence you got on Kid. No, I made a deal with myself. As soon as tonight's set is over, the evidence goes up in smoke. Break a leg out there. Thanks. <laughs> I love those sudden tone changes that make no sense. Like, I don't want anything to do right now. Thanks. Secrets on time. I know I'll need this. I just realized for some reason I'm getting L.A. Noir vibes from this. Listening to the music. None of the words help anymore. <laughs> Hang in there, Danny. Oh God. I'm gonna try and go outside, even though it's probably not gonna work. Hey, matches. Hey. Take a hike, squirt. Aww. Well, I liked your character. <laughs> Fine. I'm going up to my room. Oh, so it does let me outside. Oh no, I knew it. Someone got shot. You missed the hell of a party, buddy. Yeah. I knew it. Oh, you're gonna love this. The injury happened. I'm hanging out in the club when all of a sudden I get an urge to drain the lizard, right? I come out into the alley, and who do I see? None other than that scrawny subpoena answering rat, Artie McFly. And get this, the little worms whisper in a way I'll conquistadorial like with my Trixie. Oh no. Naturally, I pull out Kid Jr. and prepare <laughs> Major spoilers right now. Okay, we'll slice. cover your ears yes, and you don't look. And then, <laughs> okay. Spoilers, I'm literally missing huge spoilers right now that I need to know. Yeah, you might. Oh my gosh, this is a bloody massacre. You might want to go away now. Bloody spoilers. Ah! Okay, that was Link well one. Now Trixie owes me big time, and Kid Tannen always collects on his debts. Always. Always. Can you repeat that since Ben was talking? I'm gonna stare dramatically. <laughs> we literally just found out what that was. Now can I go and talk to... Now what do I do? The soundtrack always smells something before the repentance. Repentance? Okay. So many spoilers. Don't worry, the spoiler scene passed. Let's just say it ended very violently and gruesomely. Anyways, this will have. I love how this one. I I love how the characters have sudden mood swings. Wait, what happened to the pizza? I don't know where it all went. Crap! Why are you pointing the camera at me? It's not a video about me. It's a video about the back future. I'm gonna hit you with this frozen pizza. 